heal. That should be enough for now. Okay. Now the problem because where do I go from here? I think I just had a thought about those arrows. Maybe you can destroy the shooters with magic. That might work. I didn't try that. Um, I'll give it a try next time, though. Okay, well, I think I haven't fully explored this path over here to the left. It's the first time I tried going down this route, I just was horribly unequipped and did not have any way to heal. Just a room to mess with me. Okay. <laughs> Seems like whenever I use an antidote, I usually get one back. Get over here. Come on. using the antidote this time around. Well, this poison lasts longer than it did last time. It's starting to last longer. I should have used the antidote. It's gotta heat it's gotta wear off soon though, right? Yeah, there it is. Playing Fallout 4 and I keep thinking I'm about to get blown up by a mine because the UI sounds. Oh you you mean this?
I can, I can totally see how that sounds like a, a trip mine. If I do it fast enough, it probably mimics a trip mine perfectly too. How far are you in uh, Fallout 4? I never finished it because I wound up hating all the factions. It's like, I don't care about saving anyone in this world. Time bomb countdown increasing tempo. Nope. I just started a new survival mode playthrough a few days ago. Ah. The music in this game is pretty chill. There's a room with a poison pit, two graves, three poison pits, a poison pit, and a ghost. No loot. me going into a fourth one I guess I think this is the sixth room I've been in yeah this is the sixth sixth room that I've been in now Not sure which one would be the fourth, though. Ouch. I wish there was a way around these circular pits that without falling into them. Okay. In the later game, there's target switches where you can have to use either magic or a bow tack. Oh, I just got a bastard sword. Hello. Ah, oh, hell. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All the 
the side rooms. Oh, oh, this is why this is why I retreated last time. from the ghosts so I can hit you. <laughs> oh, dude hits the ghost with the fire. Oh, okay. room before there was nothing <laughs> oh, another morning star This was a dead end. <laughs> nope. Putting to have such a refined space and it just stops. Yeah, that's. I'm noticing there's a lot of paths where it feels like they just over decorated the map. By which I mean there's a lot of paths that lead to nothing. Which. I, I am actually a fan of that kind of map making because it means. You know, it means if you see two paths. You don't just look at one and look at the other. You actually wonder, is there anything down that path? So if you missed a door, it is the left one in the middle of the way out. I think I got it, but I'll make sure. <laughs> I like this faster sword a lot. It has more range. So this one. Oh, I did miss a door. this one Potentially miss. Yeah, I mean, if things were watching out, man, they, I would definitely miss this one. I don't know if there's anything in here, but. Oh, shit. Ah, God. I keep thinking I spaced it correctly, but I don't. 
lose weight if I do that though. Dungeon key. Excellent. So now I have that definitely was a key item. <laughs> uh literally a key. So now I have three keys and then So there were other doors that that. So now which door do I go to first? Well, I should save first. So to the right, up, and the left. Back to the start. Seals, I'm guessing there's fire, wind, and at least if not dark and light. There were six colored crystals at the start of the of the game through the cutscene. I guess I think it was six. didn't when I first got here. I think it's just best if I go down most of the path a second time. Get out of the way. Can't wait till I can kill those ghosts. <laughs> and a bloodstone. There's a pharaoh staff in the second game, and it reveals hidden doors for his commands have these. Ooh, that sounds fun. Skeletons. Come at me. I just realized this ghost laugh <laughs> sounds very similar to the jailers in Dark Souls 3. Hey, Tunnel. How are you doing? This game has aged about as well as any other early PlayStation 1 game, which is... Not great, but also not as bad as you would expect.
Okay, cool. Phantom Rod. What the hell does that do? This is Bloodstone. Whoa! What? <laughs> oh, please tell me that Phantom Rod was not a one-time use thing. Typically, it's one-time use. Damn. Oh, well. Yeah, it was one-time use. Well, rip. Stop bothering the spirit howling props and sat here looking for secrets. <laughs> Can't help it, man. You gotta find the secrets. <laughs> no! No! Okay. So I'll just go around then. Seriously, it does sound like a, a DS3 jailer. <laughs> Problem with the rod is that you pretty much have to know where to look anyway, so what's the point? It doesn't hum or anything to let you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I just kind of wish I didn't use it. Oh my god, these skeletons are poisoning me now. That's rather. <laughs> Looks like there might be a hidden wall behind these dudes. But I have to go through a poison pit just to fight them.
Damn. Okay. Just got tricked. Uh, yeah, Dead Starlight. I'm going to be streaming Kingsfield 1. Well, this is Kingsfield 1 in technicality. Um, but I'm going to be streaming Kingsfield, Amer the American English versions of uh, 1, 2, and the Ancient City. I will also be streaming uh, other from software games, such as Armored Core and Echo Knights. Shadow Tower, which is a spin-off of Kingsfield. Um, Otogi. <laughs> and... Lost Kingdoms. Hey, thanks for the follow, Dead Starlight. Killed that guy for no reason. Door stuck. <laughs> Out of the way. Oh. All right. This is that one I couldn't reach before. Huh. Oh no. Okay. Almost slid into the pit. I go up the hallway and then to the side. I should be able to find the way into that. <coughs> yeah. uh, I do have to buy Lost Kingdoms 2, which I've been <laughs> working on. But I do have Lost Kingdoms 1. Ghost, would you please get out of the way? But, um... <laughs> There's another game, isn't there? I think that's the only GameCube game from From Software. No, wait, I don't know. Ah, I got too close. <laughs> Had to go to work, have fun on your quest through this strange Halloween and track the rich. Thanks, uh, Nefarious. And have a good day at work. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude just gave me a bloodstone. That's actually worth a lot of money. Straggler. Oh, 
They kill each other. Nice. Suckers. Ouch. thought that chest would open. Hmm. Weird. Huh. Alright. We'll make a save. there's something in the dungeon that's not a man or a monster. It looks like it's waiting for something. I'd like to see it once. Maybe it's carrying something good. Okay. Guess I'll go to the end of this hallway again. Must be one of the seals. Just not sure which one. I have all I have three keys though, so I mean I should be able to open the most things. So if it's not a key, I should know that I'm missing the seal. So far I haven't found where to use the uh Earth seal yet, though. Ooh, that's a dead end. Hmm. <laughs> Greystone, I get over there. <laughs> nope, not an Indiana Jones type <laughs> invisible bridge by perspective trick.
Ah. Hey, another bloodstone. Oh, no, 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 no. This is back to a save point. Not what I want to use, though. There's a magician's map out there, and also a green dragon rod, which sends you to the first teleporter. Huh. from last time I tried that I just fell to my death so I'm not gonna try that again This is where that priest was that I, that I can't save because I don't have the dragon fruit or whatever it's called. find a dragon tree fruit. I could almost just buy one. They are absurdly expensive though, so that will be all my gold again. So I do need to buy the thing, which means I probably need to grind for some gold. Did I miss there? Okay, well, 
I have 1,100 gold. I think one of those dragon fruits costs 1,500. So if I go back to, to a shop and sell <laughs> two bloodstones, I should have enough. to get all four seals to pass four three according to what I've read. Hmm. Hey, strength increase. need to just go back to the shopkeep just to buy uh, <laughs> more herbs again anyways. <laughs> hey Petrus, welcome. Backstabs in this game are insanely hard. <laughs> They're not actually possible, but walking behind an enemy is actually really hard. Is there another path here? Did I go down this way? Uh, no, I just have to paranoid check it. Yeah, I did. Alright. Question, how's the gameplay? Gameplay is... It's a little rough getting used to spacing enemies. But beyond that, it's not... Uh, it's not actually bad. Uh, really, the biggest fault is the lack of explanation on items. Not sure what you mean by that. Any ranged O lying nightmares? Ouch. Ouch. Okay. It's fine. The music's different again. or flying nightmares. Oh, okay. Uh, so far there's been one ranged enemy, but he hasn't been terribly bad. Uh, he kind of threw a fireball at me, but he's been the only one so far. I suspect there will be at some point, though. Oh, yeah, I guess the ghosts are flying. The ghosts aren't much of, of a concern, though. They get in your way and they deal some damage to you, but... Since you can't fight them back at all, just walk past them. Let's 
1600. Two of these. Don't need these anymore. Could probably get rid of some of these items, but I'll hold on to it. but I opened it already. I, I believe that was the white family key that I used on it. Be careful, if you ever get attacked by Elizabeth, they lace their swords with poison and try to ambush people. Stones are useless in this game, but in others they are a partial MP restore. Uh, can you actually tell me what this recovery medicine recovers? Like, I think it's the only item I haven't used yet because I don't know what it does. Could just make a save and use it and then restore the save, but. ADHP and removes poison and paralysis. Oh! That's insanely useful then. Kinda weird that it does all three, but... This guy say anything new? The Holy Order created several rooms for prayer in the graveyard. If you come to one of those, be sure to pray there. Alright. What about this guy? Oops. A minstrel went down below with the soldiers, but I wondered, will he be safe? See how to shut these things off. It'd be nice if I could turn them off, but whatever. Just always gotta use a potion whenever I go through. Yeah. 
Okay, back into this room. Oh, the Ent stayed, uh, stayed dead this time. Got another battle axe. Kingsfield Tumblr has detailed floor by floor maps. Oh, I'll have to look into that later. And the in game map is nice, but it does lack quite a bit of detail. Mostly fidelity. That's to be expected. You got automated there, Sean. Um, you can either whisper it to to me, or you can uh, or you can whisper it to a mod, or you can try to break up the link with a uh, dot. If you whisper it to me, I should be able to see it though. Oh, uh, Petrus, this is... This lizard man was the only ranged enemy so far. <laughs> ah, door stuck. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. Thank you, Curtis. Oh, these are nice maps, too. Yeah, I'll look at that. No, I'll look at that later. Um, try to stay blind for as much as possible, but I'm probably gonna need those. One thing that actually. Uh, with Japanese games, you usually get. I got another battle axe. You usually get a manual, uh, a slipcover, and a whole bunch of other like little tiny pieces of paper with like promotional stuff on them. Uh, and quite often there is a map in old games. monsters here are so tough that the king's soldiers couldn't even stand up to them. I don't even have a weapon, so there's nothing I can do but stay put. Okay, it did give me the harp, though. Safe point nearby, so I'll hit the safe point up first. Oh, there's the whisper. I don't know why it took forever for the whisper uh, for the whisper to show up on my end, but Curtis has already got me there. can cross the open air. <laughs> Alright, uh, here. Same trick in the next game, only with a flute. Hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> nope, Blizzard Man. Yeah, we 
going to assume it doesn't handle elevation differences. <laughs> go over here and try it first. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. That way. Well, I guess I should might as well just try. <laughs> All right, Ghost is gonna not let me try. That's cool. It's cool. I'll just go around. that <laughs> there's just an invisible wall here These things keep dropping me battle axes, which are actually worth uh, a considerable amount of money. Am I stuck on? Oh, I'm stuck on the grave. idea what Verdite is, but I do remember hearing that name in the intro sequence of or reading, not hearing, reading the name. Permanent increase to magic power, use at once. Just waited until a save point to use that. 
Don't need to kill every enemy in this game. Now thinking about it, these things not only sound like the DS3 jailers, <laughs> if you were to stack three of them on top of each other, they would look like the DS3 jailers. go now. That's where I came from when I got this thing. Where I got the truth mirror. Oh, I can probably open that chest in that in that uh, back room. path that it is to get to said back been over here. Weird. 
all the way to the middle of the map. Just to the right. Alright, so I think up ahead and to the right is a path. Find one of these, maybe? It's hard to tell. Oh, this thing, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Tree. Hello, tree. Get chopped. I wonder. Reaper? Why is this thing called the Reaper? A thing of living flesh that looks like a withered tree. They attack with thrusting tentacles. Reapers tend to swallow victims, so gold and other valuables can often be found in them. Oops. path. Hey, level up. Well, what the hell would you do if you went into that room? You'd be stuck. I do wish there was a better healing item. Okay. Hopefully this is not a dead end. I have not just screwed myself. Okay, that does not help me getting out of here, though. Dragon tree fruit. Try not to use it by accident this time. Go ahead 
wooden walls? Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Don't want to go that way yet. That's the way out, though. That's the way out. potion or a medicine skeleton and a very random bed a very very random bed okay well okay, now I want out of here to the top of the map. Out of my way, Eric. There seems to be an invisible bridge on this floor, and I'll bet there's some treasure beyond it, but I'm not risking my life. <clears throat> Damn it. Stop. Stop pushing me. Use the door. Oh, you're such an annoying NPC. Why do you have to be in this small ass room? Oh, door is literally stuck because of this NPC. can do it too. This is, this is from software game. But would you kindly go in a different direction? So, I'll 
apply to the back end and to the right. spooked me there. <laughs> I thought I was an enemy on the on the ground that I just happened to miss. So after going down this path, go to the right. Dead body. He is dead. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's made a Dark Souls mod that changes the you died text to uh, he is dead. Like that has to be a thing, right? It's actually kind of telling when the walls will have a hidden door in front of them or behind them because the uh, the floor texture doesn't fully connect in most in front of most of them. There's a little bit of uh, polygon uh, gaps there. Hey, another dragon fruit. Uh, no, so the map changes per zone that I'm in. And so far there's been two zones, but the game keep reference The game has kept referencing a, oh, what the hell am I? A third floor? So I assume there's more zones to still discover. Overall, it does look to be just one dungeon now. Uh, one catacombs. Unfortunately, I couldn't read the uh, forward of the story because it scrolled by too fast. Um, Part of me, a very large part of me, suspects that it scrolled by too fast because in Japanese it reads really quick. But because of loss in translation difficulties, um, go backwards. it became a really large wall of text on a cutscene that goes by really fast. <clears throat> Another bloodstone. Excellent. Ah, my bad. Hey, a safe point. And a strike increase. 
Is this a door? No. That's the decoration of the wall. Oh, that looks like a new enemy. Maybe it's not an enemy? I don't like the fact that it has wings. It's an enemy and it has wings. Uh, I have waited for you. In the deep darkness, the king becomes more and more powerful. Our strength will not hold for long. Please come to us as soon as possible. Okay. Green Dragon Rod. Is this a... Is this a infinite use item or a one-time use? If it's a one-time use, I, I'll wait until the... Uh, I'll wait until I save again to try it out. Look like Milf Nita <laughs> Milf and not Milf and Milf and Nito. I just cannot pronounce that. Five point oh, point five. Ah, uh, sorry, bad spacing. Save again. Oh, nice. Back to one shotting those things. Okay, so up to the left and then down the hallway. Past that. I went into the wrong space. My bad. This way, then not that one. This one. Wrong moment there, the ch 
chest texture bumped. And I thought it was uh, a mimic. Whoops. chest that I cannot open. from uh, when you boot up the game. Okay. Already I do not like how hostile this area is. with the health until I figure out how hard these guys hit. Okay, they're not too bad. There's a ghost near me. Hi there. What's in this store? Okay. So there's probably a checkpoint or a save point in this room or at the other side of the hallway I was going. phantom rods. Yes, safe one. Hey, you did good to make it this far. This here is the graveyard of Randolph Ville. Ville. Randolph the Eighth, who was king before our last king. <laughs> there's plenty of treasure here, but there's a lot of monsters too, so I'm having trouble collecting it. I don't know how I struggled so bad on that, uh, dialogue piece, but there you go. Alright, saved. Not a safe place to restore HP and supplies, though. So, so 
bottom and to the right. No, left. saved so whatever Top of three enemies. All right, how much damage do I deal right now? Nope. Average attack is 16. Average attack is 26. Hello. Fuck yeah, I'm going to use the. Things called Cross and X. Okay, it's not a one-time use item. How do I open this? That was dumb. <laughs> Just wound up using up the, uh, the phantom rod again. that door. Twitch is doing. Yeah, I passed the shop. Damn it. Also. Because JM always uses that command. Oops. Had, uh, I don't have Amazon Prime, but I gotta say the the uh, they can easily remove that loot thing. Not once have I seen an item in the Prime loot that I've actually wanted.
Not quite enough. Man, I don't I don't like Hearthstone. I honestly just don't like that game. Um, I just I like a lot of card games, but Hearthstone just never interested me. And Fortnite, well, I just don't like Fortnite. I don't mind PUBG. I don't think PUBG is a great game overall, but. Um, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I, this is open now? Um, I don't think it's a bad game overall, but I do think. It is a bit lacking. Hmm. I also think it's uh, in-game stores a ripoff for those custom skins. And of course now you can just play Black Ops 4 and that has a battle royale game which is better than both of them, in my opinion. Oh man, I still have my Magic the Gathering cards from when I was in school. Don't do anything with them anymore, but I still have them. Okay, so now I have to walk all the way back because I can't figure out how to open that one door. I, I'm pretty sure I'm missing a key. I just don't know where I would get it. Ouch. Ouch. Got in a Hearthstone ad. Some Alpha Editions cards are worth a lot. I can, yeah, I don't have many super super old cards from the uh, Bronze Age, but I have a lot of Silver Age cards. Can I ever go down this path? I don't think I did. I started playing Magic around the time like one one card set past Ice Age. I can't remember what edition that would be. Um, and I stopped around the time they changed the uh, the borders of the cards. So I don't have many new cards at all. I just well, actually, I even even if there were that new border. It'd still be kind of old by now. Water seal stone. All right. Use that when I get to a checkpoint. Actually, water seal stone is okay. 
I am completely disinterested in exterminating monsters and the bounty money. I have no intention of helping you, but I will teach you magic in exchange for a mirror of truth. Aww. Oh, what? The Dark Magician on the fourth floor uses evil earth magic. An earth shrine was built in the soldier's graveyard and the dead are being manipulated. Hey, Cherish! Welcome! You played this when you were little? Nice. I did not, for sure. I don't think I would have had the opportunity to. I got a PlayStation around the time um, Crash Bandicoot came out. You know, the original Dark Souls. The original Souls of Platformers. That joke is so stupid, but... Uh, didn't understand shit and dropped it. I can definitely see that. There were a lot of old RPGs that I didn't pass in the first few minutes when I was a kid because they were just way too over my head. It's like, how do I jump and shoot? I want to just jump and shoot. Night gloves. Ah, oh, medieval. That game was awesome. I only got to play it from the PlayStation demo disc, but I loved it. PC at the age of five. I had my first PC really early because I was not in school yet. Um, see, I entered elementary school when I was five. So I want to say I had my first proper PC when I was either three or four. Of course, I didn't really know how to use much of the PC until um, probably a year after I got it. So. Probably started using it competently around age five. I remember having to use MS-DOS to launch games though. What a painful experience that was. Alright. So, forward to the right and back. Can't freaking get up at 4 a.m. and write like a writer the brain so I could I could do things. I I and Curtis will probably tell you how my sleep schedule probably does not even uh, you, you don't want to fathom how bad my sleep schedule is oh shit did I upload a video Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Because I was pew pew. That's actually one of the things that I. If I can just fix my sleep schedule for once and actually get it to stay fixed, I would actually put more effort into streaming regularly. Since I can't keep a schedule, I don't want to say that there is a schedule. Yeah. 
He caught me not sleeping when I should have been. <laughs> You generally stream at 3 and 4 a.m., which is 3 three and 4 a.m. my time. I assume that's morning for you, though. Yeah. Hey, level up. Hidden door. have to start remembering where those seal rooms are because I'm pretty sure I need to remember them later or relocate them later. It's fine, I don't have anything else to do. Really? Alright, well, you get to stay locked. Okay, so forward and... It looks like there's a throne room up ahead. I mean, that's exactly what they do with uh, with those illusory walls. They just literally don't have a collision box. <laughs> Actually, no, I guess there is a collision box, because if you press X in front of them, X circle, uh, it will say hidden wall. Te technically, you would have to have a hit, a hit box to be able to scan for a prompt. <laughs> So, am I, am I, the, I've said it already no, multiple times, am I the only one though that thinks these ghosts <laughs> sound like the DS3 uh, jailers, and if you were to stack three of them on top of each other, would look like a DS3 jailer. <laughs> Tower of Prayer. Oh god, this is a huge ass room too. Alright. Uh, can't go that way. I'm not surprised back in the days people had a certain match they didn't play fucking empty games where you have to draw the atmosphere. Yeah. This room, this game's actually, despite how simplistic it is, is rather detailed for its time. Like, this game came out probably before, uh, way before Skyrim, not Skyrim, Morrowind. Yeah, this is such a complicated ass map.
Like this game would have been competing at the time with a few Heroes of Might and Magic games. And Zelda, I guess, might have been out. No, Zelda wouldn't have been out. Well, not the 3D Zeldas, at least. Fires. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. I just gotta find the actual fire seal stone, which I don't have. Huh. I have the water and earth. Waker maybe? No, this that would be way too late. Wind Waker's uh, GameCube. This is the original PlayStation, so you would This would have been competing with the N64 at the time. Well, not even the N64. The N64 would have just been coming out at this point. Hey, strength increase. Earth seal, excellent. Okay. Yeah, Ocarina of Time is a maybe. I, I don't know when Ocarina of Time came out, but it would have been early N64, so... Can you get the Moonlight? Actually, that is the goal of the game. Uh, well, actually, that's the goal of the second game. The Moonlight is in this game, though, and it is supposedly highly required. Like, you can supposedly beat the final boss of this game without it, but... All the wikis say a huge asterisk to that. I'm going to definitely use it though. If I find the moonlight, I'm swinging that thing. How could I not? As a Dark Souls fan, I'm kind of obligated to uh, use moonlight if I get it. Well, once I get it. Okay then, I will come back to this one. Oh, the Crescent X? I mean, it's hitting a lot harder. It doesn't have much more range, but I'm able to kill these things in four hits instead of five. Sometimes six. I found the claymore in Anima Gates of Memories, but it's a normal Scottish sword, so it's not. Yeah, uh, claymores and bastard swords are actually a real world weapon. Um, real world, there's a lot more distinction between the two, and at the same time, a lot less distinction between the two. Because a bastard sword could literally just be. Uh, a sword of a particular size with an extended handle or something like that. I can't remember the exact terms, but... Oh, 
Also, uh, the Flamberge and Executioner Swords in Dark Souls games, those are actually real weapons as well. The Executioner Swords, um, Waters. Okay. Uh, executioner swords are uh, actually they were invented. So, as the name implies, wait, I have magic healing. Oh, neat. Um. Executioner swords were, as the name implies, made for executioners. Um, because executioners would swing those giant axes, they would often miss, resulting in a unclean beheading. So, for if you if you get a person of royalty who ha must have a distinguishable uh, death penalty. It was always best to use a executioner sword for a clean hit because it basically swings like an axe, but it's you, you know you're not likely going to miss because it's it's much longer blade. Ouch! Stop it! Stop it! I don't like. Okay, that's a one-way path. It's a safer path, though, from what I can tell. Throw fireballs. Hey, a bloodstone. <laughs> Bloodstone. Oh, right, it's this thing. Am I safe? If I'm safe, I won't use one. Just wait. Okay, cool. Chris, <laughs> wait. This fucking game has directional sounds. Uh, it's very basic limited sounds, but yes. Okay, I think the only thing that really does it is those uh, ghost things. Ghost. <laughs> a chest that way, and a lizard this way. Okay, ghost hit me. It's a good thing the ghosts don't do much damage, they just get in the way.
<laughs> so that... By the way, that magic spell that I use is called Light Needle. So they didn't get around to calling it Soul Arrow yet. Oh, it's one of these things. Excellent. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Although, I guess it's not called a magic missile. So, it's... It's not a D&D ripoff. Ouch, you little prick. Come out here. Come out here. No, you suck. Nice. Game is really good. It's absurdly basic, but. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. It's fine. It's fine. There's just one guy. 